for this morning. I have to say what a fucking morning this is. I am so, so damn happy. We are in Bangkok. There's a surprise. We were supposed to be going to Phuket this morning. We booked and paid for the flight there and back. We even booked for the hotel. And I was a bit like, oh, what have we done? Wasted all that money. But we come out of the room and we're in Bangkok. You've got the tuk tuks over there asking where you want to go. You've got the smell of the lovely food. Hotel with a nice pool, getting away from the old uh, prison cell like one we stayed in last night. Now, have we made the right decision? Damn right, yeah. This is Bangkok. It is amazing, and I am so so happy. Today's vlog is just a day around bangers. I think we've done one then before. We call it something else. A day, a day, a day in bangers is literally what we call the job. Yeah, we are so, so today's is going to be a day in you know, in Krong Tep. Krong Tep, say it in the, it comes sounds better when you say it. Krong Tep. Krong Tep, as I say. Yeah, so we're going to be Krong Tepers today. Ooh. And uh, not doing anything special, we're just going around here, there and everywhere. So, I'm just sort of on a reminiscing trip. We stayed all around here years ago, and uh, 25 years ago at least, 1997. And uh, that's the place is over there. So I'm just reminiscing a bit, and the first time I came to Thailand, I stayed in a guest house here. What did the lady call it, Indy? Mr. Lamb or something like that and I remember we come here and it was an absolute dive but it was like £1.50 a night couldn't really complain with that but you had a bucket with water in you had to fill up to have a shower and uh, I laid in the room in a top floor with a ceiling fan going when I got dengue fever I didn't realise it was dengue fever at the time and I just say laid there three days sweating in real pain watching the ceiling fan go around thinking that was the end of me, I just couldn't even move. But I did recover, and then off I went to India. But I had some good memories up there, in whatever one it was. I'm not sure which one along there. It's one of them, but as you can see, not the most uh, posh surroundings. So, behind me is a place called Gulliver's. Or used to be, it's now called Rocco. I bet it's not half as good as what it was before. We have been in, we did go in. And to be honest, it's not half as good as it was before. It used to have a tuk tuk where that big red sign is, that way, uh, up over the door. And we used to call it Gullibles, because all the backpackers used to go in there, meet Thai girls, and they'd be like, oh, she's different, she's different, she's not the same as all the others. And apparently, everyone in there was a student and uh, from a rich family, which wasn't true at all. And uh, you'd see the same guys with these girls hanging about, paying for all their meals for them to live for the week and uh but great great place they have two pool tables there on one end it was a bit like a square bar in the middle and had like a disco later on at night lots of fun at one time in there there was an explosion and someone let off a CS gas but apart from that it was a really good place but now it's called Rocco it, you can buy absolutely anything in Thailand Yep, I'm not sure they're soap or the candles, but yeah, you get that. And then this side, you've got every type of marijuana you can actually imagine. It's this one is paradise. It's a PG Oh yeah, yeah. Well, it's legal in Thailand, and apparently they don't even sell it to kids. And here you've got. Some Death Stars, or whatever they call them, Ninja. Foreign Stars, Ninja Stars. Yeah, just what you need. Oh, my mind then, actually. I don't know why. It's just the child in me. Not that one. 
and you get fake north face jumpers, even some Calvin Klein underpants. Yeah, it's all there. Or these, which are made of, I think they're snake bone, aren't they? And they're painful. Yeah, they're really sharp, so I don't know where to put one of them around their wrists. But yeah, got almost anything you care to mention. Lots of nice food places. Actually, down this alley, it used to be a favourite place of mine. It was Lebanese, but I think it's gone now. This is just off of Soy Samson, and it was here. But now it's called Shoshana Cuisine. Cuisine. I don't think it was that. I don't think it was that one. For some reason, I think it might have well been here. Yeah, it was here. Long gone now, used to be really nice. Used to get a mixture of one chips, humus. I used to treat myself every week. I thought, I thought you liked the hidden world, John. It is quite it. hidden down here. This is a little side anyway. Yeah, but how about the kebab in Thailand? Is it really? Good? Yeah, but they weren't like kebabs so you'd get anywhere else. So this guy makes things out of tin cans and uh, turns them into things like bags, tuk tuks. And things like that, really clever. It's nice to not see things wasted. It's a bit like in Africa, they're making them rubber sandals out of cotton. So this is Popiang, which used to have a tin roof. Still got a tin roof, but the old one was really ramshackle. It's more like outdoors than anything. But we had some good times and then lovely food, or it used to be. It's been, it looks like it's rebuilt. So we're gonna have a look at the menu. So we're just sitting in this nice little restaurant with nice, what do you call it, chamber music? So, what is it? Lounge music. Uh, what have you got there, Indy? I've got crispy chicken and chips. And a salad I'm not going to eat. What have you got, John? That's a waste of money then. I've got Tom Car Guy, which is lovely. I have gone native. Okay. It's a nice little place. Nice and uh, got a nice bit of fan going. What have you got there? What have you got there? I've got. Tom Kai Kai, which is chicken, galanga, ginger, garlic, it's got mushrooms in it, it's got tomatoes in it, it's got vegetables in it. This is probably the best Tom Kai Kai I have ever had in Thailand. It is absolutely delicious, but... John, though, are you sure you want that? Because look how sweaty you look all of a sudden. It's really, really spicy, but you can see the chilli in it. If you look, can you see that? And it's button. It is. Mm. Delicious. I don't know what this place is called. But it's near the KC guest house. And I recommend it. Really nice food. Cut. Oh, cut? Oh. What do you want me to cut? Well, being Thailand, be careful where you get cut. What? I am not crying because I'm happy. Oh. But I'm crying because of the spice. But this is one of them moments, them travel moments. We've got Elton John playing in the background. Uh, we think it's Elton John. We're pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it's Elton John. You know, I wasn't a big fan of, but I love Rocket Man. But it's not Rocket Man. But at the moment, it still feels severely brilliant. I feel alive. I feel spicy. Very spicy. And uh, enjoying that? Yeah. It's like one of them Kathmandu Hotel California moments. I'm here with my amazing son. He's a he ish. Ish. Well, I'm is it one of the moments? <laughs> anyway. Cut. So Indy is going to give you, Indy of all people, it's going to get a cut of eating properly because he said because there's lounge music he feels a rather posh today. So give us in advice Indy. Uh, got a cut like that. You must eat. Have you got an open fork in the right hand? Mrs. Foss would be dying watching you eat like this. Is that how you're supposed to hold a fork? Yeah. Is it? 
give him five minutes he'll be using his hands like every other native of Thailand. Is it nice? Yeah. So we're on a, a Bangkok un aircon bus. The aircon comes through the windows by the way. But I love these buses. Just so old and mechanical. The trouble is you can't go fast anyway, so it's what you need. Patanam Centre, it's 4.30 in the evening, really really hot, that bus just made me bloody jump when it's warm, not as much as Indy jumps in Cambodia, but yeah, quite a cool street, Patanam, Indy's there sweating, he decided to wear his tracks and bottoms, I'll oh, let them ready for his gig tonight, yeah, anyway, this is Petbury Rose. So where are we in there? That's where are we John? We're in the... Maybe <laughs> you're supposed to do that bit, but you obviously haven't got a clue where he is. <laughs> Typical Thai person lost all the <laughs> Anyway, we are in the Pratinam Centre. I'm not, I'm, I'm not sure it's called that. We are in the Pratinam Centre. We are and in Pratinam, yeah, that, that's yeah, the area. This is Pratinam Centre anyway. And if you look, it's quite nice, it's got unlimited little shops, shoppers paradise really. They can even walk around drinking a nice can of beer. Oh my life. Oh my life. Rock and roll stars. The sheer scale of shopping, markets and things like that. The sheer scale of markets and shopping available, it's just unbelievable. You could shop all day long and never get bored. So, I don't even like shopping, but here it's fun. You know, music, food everywhere, and eating. Here comes Indy. What a city!
clean. Not hot. No, I'm trying to keep it cool. Yes. Where are we? Thailand. Look, we're back in Cambodia.
Please welcome Steve and Slim. Uh,